Imagine flying so fast you could cross the United States in half an hour. That's faster than the blink of an eye compared to today's commercial jets, which take hours to make the same journey. That's not science fiction, it's the story of the X-43A, a plane that shattered our expectations of what's possible in the sky. This experimental aircraft holds the Guinness World Record as the fastest jet-powered plane ever, reaching Mach 9.6, almost 7,000 miles per hour. That's nearly 10 times the speed of sound, a velocity so extreme, it's hard to even imagine. At that speed, the world outside is a blur, and the physics of flight are completely transformed. The air itself becomes a barrier, and every second is a battle against unimaginable forces. The X-43A was more than just another fast plane, it was a radical leap designed to prove a revolutionary idea. What if you could build an engine that breathes the very air it's tearing through at hypersonic speeds? This was the Scramjet, a technology that could change the future of flight. The challenge? Surviving temperatures and pressures that would destroy a normal aircraft in seconds. At hypersonic speeds, the heat generated is so intense, it can melt metal in moments. Its leading edges glowed red-hot from friction, a brutal dance with physics. Every flight was a test of both technology and nerve. As an X-plane, the X-43A was built to test the impossible, sometimes risking total failure for the sake of discovery. Each mission pushed the boundaries of what we thought was achievable. It's a symbol of human ingenuity, solving impossible problems with bold engineering and a lot of rocket fuel. The teamwork and creativity behind the X-43A were as impressive as the technology itself. The X-43A isn't just a record holder, it's a testament to the spirit of exploration. It represents our drive to go faster, farther, and higher than ever before. So buckle up, we're about to dive into the incredible story of this hypersonic marvel. Get ready to experience the thrill of pushing past the edge of the possible. This is where the science gets really fun and where the future of flight begins to take shape. The X-43A wasn't a passenger plane, it was an unpiloted experimental vehicle from NASA's HyperX program. Part of a legendary line of X-planes, it was built to shatter the sound barrier and explore hypersonic flight, speeds above Mach 5. The mission proved that a scramjet, an air-breathing engine, could work at these extreme speeds. For decades, scramjets were just theory and wind tunnel dreams. NASA wanted to make them real. The X-43A was small, about 12 feet long, 5 feet wide with no cockpit or landing gear. It was never meant to land, just to fly once and gather as much data as possible. After a 10-second engine burn, it splashed down in the Pacific, its job done. Building three of these vehicles required inventing new materials and manufacturing techniques. Every part was designed to survive hypersonic extremes. The X-43A's shape compressed air before it even reached the engine, a masterpiece of integrated design. This was a machine built for pure speed. At the heart of the X-43A is the scramjet, short for supersonic combustion ramjet. Unlike rockets, scramjets breathe air from the atmosphere, making them lighter and more efficient. Regular jet engines use spinning turbines to compress air, but at hypersonic speeds, those parts would tear themselves apart. Scramjets have no moving parts, instead, the vehicle's speed rams air into the engine. The inlet compresses the air keeping it supersonic, a huge engineering challenge. Hydrogen fuel is injected into this blazing hot airflow, igniting almost instantly, the result a massive continuous explosion that generates enormous thrust. The whole process, from air intake to exhaust, happens in milliseconds. It's like lighting a match in a hurricane, and keeping it burning. That's the genius of the scramjet, simple in concept, fiendishly hard to execute. The X-43A proved it could be done. This was the breakthrough that made hypersonic flight possible. Let's see how it actually works. The X-43A's sharp nose and underside create shockwaves, compressing air before it even reaches the engine. The entire airframe is part of the propulsion system, a concept called wave riding. Compressed, supersonic air enters the engine inlet, where the geometry must be perfect to avoid catastrophic unstarts. Inside, hydrogen fuel is injected into the super-hot, fast-moving air, with only milliseconds to mix and ignite. Engineers develop precise injectors to keep combustion stable at these speeds. The hot exhaust is channeled through a nozzle, accelerating it even more. Newton's third law kicks in. The rapid expulsion of gas creates massive thrust. 
even the tail acts as part of the nozzle, integrating engine and airframe. The X43A is a single, finely tuned machine, turning air and speed into even more speed. The X43A didn't just break the sound barrier, it smashed it nine times over, pushing the very limits of what was thought possible in aviation. This was not just another test flight, it was a leap into the unknown, a bold experiment that would change the future of flight. The first flight in 2001 failed, but the team learned and came back stronger. Every setback was a lesson, fueling their determination to succeed where no one else had. In March 2004, the second X-43A hit Mach 683, over 5,000 Trillioer, setting a new world record for jet-powered flight. The world watched as the boundaries of speed were shattered. More importantly, it was the first time a scramjet-powered vehicle flew freely, proving hypersonic air-breathing flight was real. This was a breakthrough that many thought was decades away. The final flight in November 2004 was flawless, Mach 9.6, nearly 7,000 Doppler MPH. The X-43A soared faster than any air-breathing aircraft before it, rewriting the record books. The X-43A covered more than 2 miles every second, a speed so fast it's almost impossible to imagine. In mere moments, it crossed distances that once took minutes. Each flight lasted only minutes but the data was priceless. Every second in the air provided insights that would shape the next generation of aerospace technology. These were the Wright Brothers moments for hypersonic propulsion giant leaps that redefined what was possible in flight. Before the X-43A, scramjets were theory, confined to textbooks and computer models. After, they were proven technology, opening new frontiers for engineers and scientists everywhere. Engineers finally had real-world data on scramjet performance, heat and control at extreme speeds, information that was once out of reach. The X-43A validated decades of research and opened the door to the future of high-speed flight, inspiring a new era of innovation. It was a monumental achievement, the result of vision, persistence, and teamwork. The age of hypersonic flight had begun, and the sky was no longer the limit. Why didn't the X-43A just take off from a runway? Scramjets need to be moving at hypersonic speeds to work. The solution, a multi-stage launch. The X-43A was attached to a Pegasus rocket, which was carried to 40,000 feet by a B-52 bomber. Once in position, the Pegasus and X-43A dropped, free-falling for five seconds before the rocket ignited. The booster accelerated the stack to nearly 100,000 feet and Mach 7. At burnout, the rocket separated, and the X-43A was on its own. The engine inlet opened hydrogen was injected, and the scramjet ignited for its brief history-making burn. This complex launch sequence was the only way to get the X-43A into its operating window. It was a brilliant use of proven technology to launch a revolutionary vehicle. Flying at Mach 10 isn't just for bragging rights, it could change the world. Hypersonic flight could revolutionize space access, making launches cheaper and more routine. Imagine a plane that flies to the edge of space then switches to rockets to reach orbit. The military sees huge potential, delivering payloads anywhere on Earth in under an hour, or fielding nearly unstoppable hypersonic missiles and drones. In the future, hypersonic travel could shrink the globe, New York to Tokyo in two hours, London to Sydney in just a few. There are challenges, safety, cost, and sonic booms, but the X-43A proved the technology is possible. Hypersonic vehicles could also open up new regions of the atmosphere for research. The X-43A wasn't just a speed demon. It unlocked a new frontier for science, defense, and travel. It showed us what the future of FAST could look like. The X-43A's flights ended in 2004, but their impact is still felt. The data gathered became the foundation for the next generation of hypersonic projects. The X-51A Waver Rider, a direct successor, achieved sustained hypersonic flight using jet fuel. Impossible without the X-43A's breakthroughs, the program also drove advances in high-temperature materials, simulation tools, and testing facilities benefiting the entire aerospace industry. The X-43A inspired a new generation of engineers and scientists. Today, hypersonics research is booming, with many leaders tracing their inspiration back to the HyperX program. The X-43A was a seed. Now we're seeing the forest of innovation it started. Its legacy is everywhere in modern aerospace. 
Years later, the X-43A still amazes us, not just for its speed, but for what it represents in the story of human innovation and ambition. This experimental aircraft changed how we think about flight, pushing the boundaries of what we believed was possible in aviation. It proved that, at extreme speeds, the rules of flight transform, the vehicle and its engine become inseparable, breathing in the very air it races through at hypersonic velocity. No private company would have dared to take on such a risky, expensive, and uncertain challenge. But NASA's bold research paid off, delivering knowledge and breakthroughs that will inspire and inform generations of engineers and dreamers. The X-43A stands as a testament to the value of daring scientific exploration and the courage to chase the unknown. It's about our relentless curiosity, our drive to go faster, higher, and farther, and our refusal to accept the limits of today. When you see images of the X-43A glowing as it tears through the sky, you're witnessing the result of years of dedication, teamwork, and vision. You're looking at a symbol of human potential, a reminder that our dreams can take flight, no matter how impossible they seem. It's a reminder that there are still new frontiers to explore, and that the spirit of discovery is alive and well. The X-43A was our own man-made shooting star. A brief brilliant flash that illuminated the future of flight and inspired countless new ideas. It answered the question, can we build an air-breathing engine for hypersonic speeds? The X-43A proved that we can, and that we're only just beginning to understand what's possible. The answer is a resounding yes, and it's a victory for science, engineering, and the human spirit. And that's why the X-43A still blows our minds today, reminding us that the sky is never the limit.